Alright guys, another Sunday. Welcome back to Should You Make as an Alt, this time featuring the good old Reaper, the Swooper herself. Before we get super into it though, I do want to say this is a purely back attack class. There's nothing you can do to kind of get around that, so it's going to be an entropy class, no matter what you do. Uh, so if you don't like back attackers, don't necessarily count Reaper out just yet. Maybe take a look at her skills and how they function, but she is a very different kind of back attacker. She has a lot of options to actually hit the back, which is very unlike most of these classes. Uh, and of course, before we really dive into the meat and potatoes of the video and discuss why I think you should make a Reaper, because, you know, I do think you should probably make a Reaper if you're interested in the class at all. Uh... Make sure you like the video, it helps the growth of the channel, you guys are always great about it, nice little reminder, and of course subscribe if you haven't. We hit all the goals for the end of the year, but let's see how high we can get it, maybe 850, who knows. Alright, Reaper. Like I said, the relics that you're going to be using for either spec, uh, either spec being Lunar Voice or Hunger, um, you're going to be running Entropy, which is the back attack set. My Reaper is only 1430. I'm just slowly honing her as I get bound Leap Stones. Uh, I started her out as Lunar Voice and I really did not like the class. I am I think it's because a combination of not having Relic set, not having a proper 4x3 at least because I only had like 2x3 or something when I was playing it and really low spec. So I think Lunar will probably get another try from me um, when I get my Relic set on her. But for now, Hunger is much more fun and enjoyable. Uh, and I think if you're going to play Reaper as an alt, probably Hunger is where you want to be at. Because uh, Hunger makes her play like... I want to say like a pseudo Shadow Hunter. A squishy sad Shadow Hunter. Because the gist of Reaper's rotation is you just kind of press whatever lights up uh, for Hunger. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Uh... Let's spawn a monster here, a scarecrow, if you will, a little bossy boss. Uh, so don't have any gems, obviously, because I'm waiting for the Hyper Express gems, but I am 5x3. Uh, I did 5x3 my Reaper because, like I said, I enjoy playing her, and it's fun, so why not? There's only a couple hundred K anyways, so whatever. What is her identity skill? So you see this green bar at the bottom here? Uh, I shouldn't have it, but... Basically, let me just use it so I drop it. You'll see it starts out with um, just a regular bar that you have to fill up. Using dagger skills or shadow skills fills the bar up. So your green skills are your dagger. Your purple skills are your shadow. And when you fill up the bar completely, you can press Z to enter persona mode, which is this mode. You will never use this mode. Well, I should say pretty much never use this mode as hunger. But this is the main kind of deal with um, uh, Lunar Voice. They build up their meter to go into Persona mode and then use a swoop skill to do a massive hit. But Hunger, on the other hand, is focused on the second level of your Persona bar, which will turn into Chaos. Chaos mode, I believe they call it. Yeah, chaos mode. So there's another meter that you're not going to be able to see until I hit, but it starts filling up red. You fill it up the same way, shadow and dagger. Now we're in chaos mode. Chaos mode gives us 15 crit rate, 10 move speed, and 10 attack speed. So it's a nice little buff. Like I said, you're basically like a shadow hunter that back attacks. And you, you'll kind of see what I mean. I'm just going to kind of do like a pseudo rotation here. Just kind of press whatever lights up. But you can see, it's a very mobile class. It has a lot of ways to move itself. So you can reposition. The biggest learning curve of Reaper, uh, this spec at least, and I, I'm going to assume even with Lunar Voice, uh, it's going to be learning how your skills move you and just knowing when to use what skills when. Uh, and obviously needing to know the boss's patterns in order to have good uptime. 
But you can see what I mean. Like, even with my very scuffed setup, I have very little downtime. And when you have a proper setup, you actually don't have any downtime as this build. Which is, again, pretty much exactly like a Shadow Hunter. So that's why I compare it to like a DI Shadow Hunter. Uh, just, you have to back attack and you're also very squishy. But ultimately, if that looks fun at all to you, give it a try. Uh, I will say, when I built my 5x3, it was very expensive, but I built it like week one of the class's release. I think I paid like 200k for all this stuff. I got five hunger accessories in double legendary book, obviously. And I have a 8-6 stone. But it was a bit expensive. I'm sure the prices have come down a little bit because uh, gold is in flux. But just be aware, if you do plan on making this as an alt, you can set it at 4x3 just fine. But if you're trying to 5x3 it, and you're not the biggest high roller in the biz, you may want to consider not making a Reaper. Uh, at least temporarily, if that's your big concern. It's a... Hunger is... A couple different things you can do. You can go full swift or 50 spec, 50 swift. I have a 50-50 split right now. Uh, a little bit more spec than I do swift, but essentially 50-50. I prefer this because the spec still gives you pretty decent damage on your uh, spenders or your swoop skills. Your red skills, if you will. Uh, while the swiftness still allows you to have very low cooldowns. And just the ability to kind of keep pumping damage. Do I think this class is strong up until 1415? Well, like I said, I played mine 1430. Uh, and yes, I have done Descaluda and stuff without gems. But again, I have a 5x3 to offset that. Honestly, even without any gems at all, because I'm waiting for the Hyper Express gems. Yeah, the Reaper feels pretty strong. Imagine I was 4x3 with gems yeah this class would feel really good actually uh and it's obviously pretty expensive to build there's no real off meta build because even the off meta i'm not even sure if lunar voice is less popular i think it is but lunar voice is still a spec set so it's still going to be very expensive um but overall i do suggest reaper as an alt if this looks interesting to you at all uh, I'm surprised that I liked it as much as I did. I, Like I said, I thought I was going to play it Lunar Voice as an alt, but it just felt so bad initially. I did the swap, and I'm glad I did. Definitely give it a try, though, if you've been thinking about it. Because the only problem that I have with it, other than it's being squishy, is the fact that it's expensive. But that doesn't really matter to me. I just know it's like a general thing that people definitely put people off of making. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. I think Reaper is great fun, and you should give it a try. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. As always, like it if you like the video, dislike it if you dislike it, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe! Bye!